Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Friday, July 1st. Morning prayer begins on page 79. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the, th of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by, by what, what we have, have done and by, by what we have, have left undone. undone. We, we have, have not, not loved, loved you with our whole heart. We, we have, have not, not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to, the to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, Come let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, Come let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, Come let us, adore, let us him. adore him. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 140 and 142, beginning on page 796. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent. Who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who are determined to trip me up. The proud have hidden a snare for me and stretched out a net of cords. They have set traps for me along the path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord, <clears throat> nor let their evil plans prosper. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. Let the evil of their lips overwhelm them. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the mire, never to rise up again. A slanderer shall not be established on the earth, and evil shall hunt down the lawless. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and render justice to the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall continue in your sight. I cry to the Lord with my voice. To the Lord I make my loud supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him all my trouble. When the spirit languishes within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, you have hidden the trap for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to and no one cares for me. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I have been brought very low. Save me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully with me, the righteous will gather around me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. 
The Pharisees went and took counsel how to entangle Jesus in his talk. And they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true, and teach the way of God truthfully, and care for no man, for you do not regard the position of men. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why put me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the money for the tax. And they brought him a coin. And Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? They said, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard it, they marveled, and they left him and went away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will use Canticle 18, found on page 93. <clears throat> Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, servants, give you humble humble thanks thanks for all all your goodness and loving kindness to us us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, 
and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.